Hello, our beautiful viewers, subscribers and fans, you are all welcome to our wonderful channel. Now we will be sharing easy and simple method of making rhubarb crumble at home. So sit back and relax, as you enjoy it all. Please do not forget to subscribe to our channel and share the video. Here we go. Creating a rhubarb crumble at home is a delightful way to showcase the tart and tangy flavor of rhubarb in a comforting and satisfying dessert. In this comprehensive guide, we'll walk you through every step of the process, from selecting the freshest rhubarb to achieving the perfect crumbly topping. By following these detailed instructions and tips, you'll be able to make a delicious rhubarb crumble that will delight your taste buds and warm your soul. Table of Contents 1. Introduction to Rhubarb Crumble 2. Choosing the best rhubarb 3. Ingredients needed 4. Equipment required 5. Making the rhubarb filling 6. Preparing the crumble topping 7. Assembling and baking the crumble 8. Serving and enjoying 9. Variations and flavor ideas 10. Storage and reheating tips 11. Conclusion. Please subscribe to our channel and share the video. 1. Introduction to Rhubarb Crumble. Rhubarb crumble is a classic dessert that is beloved for its simplicity and delicious flavor. The combination of tart rhubarb filling topped with a sweet and buttery crumble topping creates a perfect balance of flavors and textures. Whether enjoyed warm with a scoop of vanilla ice cream or cold with a dollop of whipped cream, Rhubarb crumble is sure to become a favorite dessert in your household. 2. Choosing the best rhubarb. When making rhubarb crumble, it's important to select the freshest and most vibrant rhubarb available. Here are some tips for choosing the best rhubarb. 1. Look for firm stalks. Choose rhubarb stalks that are firm and crisp, with no signs of wilting or soft spots. 1. The color should be bright and vibrant ranging from pale pink to deep red, depending on the variety. 2. Avoid thick, woody stalks. While thicker stalks may seem impressive, they tend to be tougher and more fibrous. 2. Opt for medium-sized stalks that are about one half to one inch in diameter for the best texture. 3. Check for freshness. Fresh rhubarb should have glossy skin and show no signs of shriveling or browning. 3. If the leaves are still attached, they should be bright green and crisp. 4. Consider the season. Rhubarb is typically in season during the spring and early summer months, so look for it at farmers markets or specialty grocery stores during this time for the freshest options. 3. Ingredients needed. To make rhubarb crumble, you'll need the following ingredients. For the rhubarb filling. 1. 4 cups chopped rhubarb, about 1 inch pieces. 2. 1 half cup granulated sugar, adjust according to the tartness of the rhubarb. 3. 2 tablespoons cornstarch. 4. 1 tablespoon lemon juice. 5. 1 teaspoon vanilla extract. 6. Pinch of salt. For the crumble topping. 1. 1 cup all-purpose flour. 2. 1 half cup rolled oats. 3. 1 half cup packed brown sugar. 4. 1 half cup cold unsalted butter, cut into small cubes. 5. 1 half teaspoon ground cinnamon. 6. Pinch of salt. 4. Equipment required. To make rhubarb crumble, you'll need the following equipment. 1. Mixing bowls. Use large mixing bowls for mixing the rhubarb filling and crumble topping. 2. Baking dish. Choose a shallow baking dish such as a 9 by 9 inch square baking dish or a similar sized oval or rectangular dish for baking the crumble. 3. Cutting board and knife. Use a cutting board and sharp knife to chop the rhubarb into pieces. 4. Measuring cups and spoons. Accurate measurements are essential for the rhubarb filling, crumble topping, and other ingredients. 5. Pastry blender or fork. Use a pastry blender or fork to cut the butter into the flour mixture for the crumble topping. 6. Aluminum foil. Use aluminum foil to cover the crumble while baking to prevent excessive browning. 5. Making the rhubarb filling. 
The first step in making rhubarb crumble is preparing the rhubarb filling. Here's how to do it. 1. Preheat the oven. Preheat your oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit, 190 degrees Celsius, and grease a baking dish with butter or non-stick cooking spray. 2. Chop the rhubarb. Wash the rhubarb stalks thoroughly and trim off any leaves. 2. Cut the rhubarb into 1-inch pieces and place them in a large mixing bowl. 3. Add sugar and cornstarch. Sprinkle the granulated sugar and cornstarch over the chopped rhubarb. 3. Toss gently to coat the rhubarb evenly. 4. Add flavorings. Drizzle the lemon juice and vanilla extract over the rhubarb mixture, then add a pinch of salt. 4. Toss again to combine all the ingredients. 6. Preparing the crumble topping. Next, it's time to make the crumble topping for the rhubarb crumble. Here's how to do it. 1. Combine dry ingredients. In a separate mixing bowl, combine the all-purpose flour, rolled oats, brown sugar, ground cinnamon, and a pinch of salt. 1. Stir until well combined. 2. Add butter. Add the cold, cubed butter to the dry ingredients. 2. Using a pastry blender or fork, cut the butter into the flour mixture until it resembles coarse crumbs. 2. The mixture should hold together when squeezed but still be crumbly. 7. Assembling and baking the crumble. Now that both the rhubarb filling and crumble topping are prepared, it's time to assemble the rhubarb crumble and bake it to golden perfection. Here's how to do it. 1. Transfer rhubarb filling to baking dish. Pour the prepared rhubarb filling into the greased baking dish, spreading it out evenly. 2. Add crumble topping. Sprinkle the crumble topping evenly over the rhubarb filling, covering it completely. 3. Bake. Place the baking dish in the preheated oven and bake the rhubarb crumble for 35-40 minutes, or until the filling is bubbly and the topping is golden brown. 4. Check for doughness. Insert a toothpick or fork into the center of the crumble to check if the rhubarb filling is tender. 4. If it's still firm, continue baking for a few more minutes. 5. Cover with foil if necessary. If the crumble topping is browning too quickly, cover the baking dish loosely with aluminum foil to prevent it from burning. 8. Serving and enjoying. Once the rhubarb crumble is baked to perfection, it's time to serve and enjoy this delicious dessert. Here's how to do it. 1. Let cool slightly. Allow the rhubarb crumble to cool for a few minutes before serving to allow the filling to set slightly. 2. Serve warm. Spoon generous portions of warm rhubarb crumble onto serving plates or bowls. 3. Add toppings if desired. Serve the rhubarb crumble as is or top it with a scoop of vanilla ice cream, a dollop of whipped cream, or a drizzle of caramel sauce for extra indulgence. 4. Enjoy. Dive into the rhubarb crumble with a spoon and savor each bite of tangy rhubarb filling and buttery crumble topping. 9. Variations and flavor ideas. While classic rhubarb crumble is delicious on its own, you can get creative and customize the recipe with different flavors and variations. Here are some ideas to inspire you. 1. Add strawberries. Combine chopped strawberries with the rhubarb filling for a classic rhubarb strawberry crumble. 2. Incorporate other fruits. Mix in other fruits such as apples, peaches, or berries to create unique flavor combinations. 3. Experiment with spices. Add ground ginger, nutmeg, or cardamom to the crumble topping for extra warmth and flavor. 4. Try different toppings. Instead of a traditional crumble topping, experiment with a streusel topping made with chopped nuts or a biscuit topping for a cobbler-like texture. 10. Storage and reheating tips. If you have any leftovers, which is unlikely, here are some tips for storing and reheating rhubarb crumble. 1. Store leftovers. Allow the rhubarb crumble to cool completely, then cover the baking dish with plastic wrap or aluminum foil and refrigerate for up to three days. 2. Reheat in the oven. To reheat individual servings of rhubarb crumble, place them on a baking sheet and heat in a preheated oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit, 175 degrees Celsius, 
for 10-15 minutes or until warmed through. 3. Reheat in the microwave. Alternatively, you can reheat individual servings of rhubarb crumble in the microwave on medium power for 1-2 minutes or until warmed through. 4. Serve leftovers with ice cream. Serve reheated rhubarb crumble with a scoop of vanilla ice cream for a delicious dessert that tastes just as good as the first time. Please subscribe to our channel and share the video. Conclusion Making rhubarb crumble at home is a delightful way to enjoy the fresh, tangy flavor of rhubarb in a comforting and satisfying dessert. By following the steps outlined in this comprehensive guide, you'll be able to create a delicious rhubarb crumble that will delight your taste buds and warm your soul. Whether enjoyed on its own or topped with ice cream or whipped cream, rhubarb crumble is sure to become a favorite dessert in your household. So roll up your sleeves, preheat your oven, and get ready to enjoy the sweet satisfaction of making rhubarb crumble from scratch. Happy baking! Please subscribe and share the video. If you enjoyed watching please subscribe to our channel, a subscription is free and does not cost money. Have you subscribed now? Ok, I will wait for you to subscribe now. Thank you. Do not forget to like the video, share the video, comment down below, watch recommended or suggested videos on your screen, tap or click notification bell, so that you would be notified each time we upload new videos. We say a big thank you for watching and see you in our next video.